So we have another new update available for Rising OS and this time it's version 4.2 and as expectedly with this new update we have a lot of new changes a lot of new features are included I've installed it on my device which is Google Pixel 7a right now while making this video it's available for few of the devices with the version 4.2 although some updates for some devices updates are coming constantly instantly some devices are not getting updates instantly but that's completely okay Let's have a quick look at some of the things here. In this case, if you are able to notice, we have some JSON files options available. You can use custom files to pass play integrity and also some options related to game props, which is quite amazing and quite unique. Not every custom room is giving you these kind of options. Basically, it has all the spoofing options you need. You can pick that file to be used for spoofing play integrity or spoofing games. So basically, you can join their Telegram support group and find out if you have any anything related to this could be useful in some cases might not be for everyone for sure but yes it's available so i just wanted to let you know it's available in the miscellaneous options in the other toolbox settings in rising os customizations moving on to some of the other changes you will find in miscellaneous options that you have the three finger long press gestures available too which is quite amazing we have three finger gestures already available but this is three finger hold basically gesture so for example if i choose this volume panel three finger long pressing i like this and i'm able to execute this action here just using this volume panel as an example but you can choose any other options like clear all notifications and a lot more things and we also have the option to customize a swipe three finger gesture and also three finger long press gestures which is a very useful thing and these things are present with the rising OS version 4.2 don't miss them all check these all kind of options a lot of options are present here definitely because a lot of customizations which means little bit less stability as compared to some other custom rooms but maybe for some of the other devices for some of the devices the room could not be that unstable this could be stable for you so don't miss it another thing is available in the lock screen customizations that you will notice some lock screen always on display images are available here for you so you can finally enable custom aod image custom always on display image which is a very very interesting option i don't think so i found this option anywhere else at least while making this video but including that it already brings you some lock screen clock customizations including some including some fonts with the custom clock so that's quite amazing too even in the smart pixels options you will notice the burn in protection option is also present here i guess it was not available previously but with this new update it's here it simply prevents the burn in on oled devices it depends if your device is having this oled screen if you have lcd screen this option is definitely not available for you Moving on to the quick settings options here, you will see we have the option to customize the rows and columns. You can choose how many rows you want, how many columns you want, even in the portrait mode, even in the landscape mode. So that's a very good thing. And by the way, in case you don't know, with the rising OS version 4.1, the quick settings was changed and having a very beautiful UI, including the widgets. This new update also brings you the option for quick switch options. I mean, you have three launchers included. That's just quite amazing. You can switch between pixel launcher, launcher, quick step, and you don't need any kind of magic modules. You don't need to root your device to install some custom launchers. So that's just good too. These options are present in the quick switch settings. Although this custom room is just quite good in my custom, in my device, which is Google Pixel 7a not found any major bug while making this video but yes it depends which device you are using with this new update of course as expectedly some new wallpapers might be introduced but it already has a lot of new wallpapers i don't think so you need anything else you don't need to install in third party apps to install any other wallpapers because a lot of these wallpapers are just super good including these wallpaper options it definitely it is having a lot of customizations with the default launcher you know that because it's having otis launcher which is quick step launcher you also have the option to choose the pixel launcher you also have the option to choose the launcher so whichever you feel comfortable with whichever launcher you love you can apply that a lot of things are also there so check out the videos which i made already on the earlier versions so don't miss them this is all thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to like this one thanks for watching we'll see in the next one